Hey everyone and welcome back to Tiny Zoo, welcome back to Franchise. If you guys are new to the channel, this is my current Franchise mode, this is hard mode, so we are playing on the hardest difficulty and I put myself a challenge by having this little grid over here as our reference in which we are going to build. So um, we are going to try to basically um, use and leverage every single square meter of this grid, but not more than that, you know, this is really it. This is where we have to put down our zoo and maximize everything and again this time I'm really trying to go for the maximum education and everything like that so we are really going to go there and really going to try the best we can in order to make things work and uh, yeah we're going to have a look how that works Okay, so today we are going to look into, well, the inevitable camel habitat. And I've done a couple of things off screen, which I'm going to walk you through real quick. Um, there is nothing major. I did do a little bit of education fixes here and there. Um, this is security, this is education. So I did put down a couple more education thingies here and there. I just put down everything I could just to make sure that people having the maximum effect from the education. What I also did do is I did actually upgrade quite a bit of our um, stuff. We can actually go even further, which is great. Um, and I also made sure that we have a bit more of a mechanic because actually I had a lot of issues with the broken down vending machines and uh, barriers duplication and all these kind of things were a little bit of an issue. So yeah, uh, we can also see that um, some of our vendors are having quite a high workload, um, which means we might also need to employ some new ones to bring them in and have a bit more of an exchange. But first of all, I'm just going to upgrade them. Then what I also did is I also made sure that the animals are all fine. I think we have to, yeah, we have to get, oh, look at that. They're even pregnant again. So I'm going to keep, well, hopefully, hopefully we're going to get a male baby because otherwise we are going to face some issues so um, let's get rid of those first of all and maybe we have to get like another male then but okay let's see if there are more yeah scorpions also so we can just get rid of the scorpions again Mm, anything else? No, center trade center. Okay. We also have to look into finally our conservation credits. We are running out of conservation credits. So if you guys have an idea, what is the best animal in terms of uh, conservation credits, let me know because obviously these animals are only good for making money, um, which uh, is not really that big of an issue right now. <clears throat> so if you guys know about which animals are basically the best, I think it could be tigers or something, even though they don't really get that many babies. Um, I also tried to put down the art walk like we have. Actually, we could quickly do this. Um, I've got an animal storage. I've got a couple of animals in here from the other zoos, but we shall not look too much into this. Um, where is the art walk? There was one. Yeah, this is Monifa. Can I? Why can I not? What is the issue with this thing? This animal is expecting offspring, cannot be sold or released. Okay, well, you know what? Then you go in here. And you get your offspring. Oh, that was the in inbred one. Oh, this is this is actually a little bit of an issue. Oh, well, whatever. Um, we could also, while doing this, we can also go in and edit the barrier over here. I think we can finally get the... No, okay, we still don't have the one-way glass, which is a bit of a pity. Um, okay, anyways, this one is going to be delivered, and I'm going to get rid of the other, the other one. This is the other one. Okay, offspring imminent. And what about you? You're also offspring imminent. Oh my god, both. Okay, we're gonna wait for babies then. We're going to wait for babies. Um, and as I said, I wanted to bring them in here with the meerkats because they, uh, the meerkats because they can live together with them. But again, they well, it doesn't work because the habitat is too small. Anyhow, protesters have arrived at Mazu. Why? Stayingly? Why would you even be in here? Welfare. It's all good. So, I mean, they don't like it that they have like two may, uh, two grown-ups in here. I, Why is there... Wait, this is weird. Because there's there was like... Ah. Um, okay, well, I mean, I mean, now I can actually... Why can I not sell you? Why? What's, what's the deal? I'm going to send you to the trade center first. Okay, well, that, that worked, but... I am not sure. Oh, look at that. We have a baby. Okay, we've got a baby, which is good. And we've got Monifa, so we put her into the trade center. That should have done a lot of things. Look at how many. Oh, my God. Look at how many of those we have. Um, we should maybe get rid of these two Fennec foxes as well. How much do they get if we sell them? Oh, wait. There you go. Oh, that's quite. that's quite okay. 
that's quite okay. Considering they get a lot of babies, that is a good, a good idea. <clears throat> okay, so fennec foxes seems to be a good idea. We can also give them some better food. Oh, we have already given them some better food. Um, now they're doing quite well, which is good. How about, the, how about the space and social group in general? I mean, they can have like a... Okay, space is just exactly the minimum we have. How about the social? The social group is all fine. Um, okay, so what I want to do is I want to give them a little bit more space in their habitat. This is the um, this is basically the habitat which is going to start for the camels now, but I want to give them a bit more space. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this up to over here, and then we are going to pull that one rather straight, and I'm going to connect this here. So we can basically delete this bit, and we can make this also into... Something like that, you know, and then we're going to bring this one down as if people can have a little look into the habitat here. And this is kept high for the camels, like this is the camel shelter. And I guess this is kind of a nice idea to have it that way. <clears throat> okay, so we are having this, which is great. And now um, I'm going to put like a bit of a different barrier in here. So this will be for the camels and I'm going to, well, this can be a lot shorter. Okay, so we're going to bring this one very much to here. I need to have that in between. And now we will have, um, oh well, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to keep that like this. And then the barrier entrance will be here. Yeah, this is going to be that. Uh, because I want to make the camel habitat rather big, so they get uh, this uh, whole area here. Um, but we will work with custom fences. So I'm just going to bring this over here. So that's going to be where we go. And over here, I'm going to start using this fence because this will be like in the backside of the camel habitat. Like I, I don't want to make it like too enormous, I guess. Um, so I'm going to cut this over here and then just go all the way back up here. So this is where we, this is where we put the camel habitat. Like this entire thing will be the camel habitat. And then I'm going to, well, this will be a custom fence here in the front. And therefore I'm going to go with like the invisible fence here. And that goes all the way like so. And then uh, over here, this will be where we will have to put the entrance uh, simply because that makes a lot more sense. And then I'm going to connect it like, what do you make the, the yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it like so. And then uh, what we're also going to do, because that's like all the habitat, we just need to make sure that we have this border over here connected to this one, like so. Okay, and now if I put a gate right over here, Shall we put this here? Yes. Now this should actually be the habitat now, right? This is the habitat, which is ready. Great. We don't have many issues right now, so I'm pausing the game um, simply to be a bit more relaxed while building this. So we do have this entire area now as the camel habitat. First of all, I want to do like a very simple fence design that we can utilize all around here. Um, I'm going to keep this metal fence in the background, but this will be all fine. Um, so first of all, I'm going to go for wood because wood is something that we need over here. So blueprints off. And I'm not sure if I'm going to take, like, I need to first of all go to the flat roof here there you go I just want to make sure that everything is flat um, otherwise this looks always stupid so this is kind of a neat fence we could use but I don't want to use this one I want to actually use this one yeah that's fine and then I'm going to have it like so and that is the is this four meter eight meter actually well let, let's go for a four meter though because eight meter is quite a lot it's quite a lot Okay, let's go like this. I have no idea how, how tall I want to do this, so we have to measure this with the people. I'm going to keep that a little higher up, though, because um, I, I've, I've got an idea what we do. I've got an idea what we do. Okay, so first of all, let me just bring... Is that a 4-meter one? No, that's a 2-meter one. I want to have the 4-meter one painted thingy. I'm going to bring this to the top, and we're going to bring, like, another one in here, which is going to be, like, a bit darker. There you go. That's it, and now we're gonna type in mesh, and oh look at that, this is because of the wooden frame. That's quite, that's quite, that's quite big though. Um, I think a normal mesh piece would look better, so we're just going to use... I like the versatility that Frontier gave us with the mesh pieces. Like honestly, this is, this is really some good stuff. Um, but, 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 which is the smaller one, is that one, right? 
So this is kind of it. And then we can wait. We have to put this all in the building first. I just forgot to put it in the building. Um, also, in case if you hear the little one downstairs, which might be, I don't know how sensitive the microphone will be, if it's enough. But um, the... Uh, uh, the baby is doing good. They are doing they are doing some um, some training sessions downstairs because baby is about to turn itself the first time ever, so it's rolled over, and it's uh, it's quite exhausting. So she's screaming here and there. Um, so don't worry, the the baby is not doing bad at all. The baby is in fact doing very very well indeed. So I'm gonna keep it that way. Um, let's have a look how tall that is in comparison to people. Oh, that's beautiful. That's the perfect height. Um, not sure if the if the fence is going to make people mad because they can't see things, but um, I'm quite happy with how this looks. Okay, so I'm going to put this one down now, here, and now let's go into the building and copy-paste this thing around. So this is going to be the fence, so we're going to bring this in all the way over here. I'm gonna do something else with, oh wait, I, yeah, well, we, we can we can do it later on. So I'm going, no, actually, you know what, I'm just gonna leave I'm just going to leave this a little bit because, well, I'm not sure if this is um, high enough, though, for the animals to jump over. It's looking quite a bit weird, though. I should actually, you know what, no, I'm, I'm going to build the fence up here again, uh, where it's more flat. And we're going to make the other thing look a little bit better by just pushing things off a bit more. So... This is where that fence goes. That's quite nice. And we're going to keep that fence here as well. And this is going to be where a gate is going to happen um, because they should actually just move over here into their habitat, you know. This is where we have like a certain kind of gate where the animals then hopefully cannot escape. And um, I think it's fine. People can traverse into a camel habitat. I think they are not panicking. So that should be working. Um, and I'm, I'm very positive that this works. So we will see if that works. I'm going to work with uh, elephant grass on that note because elephant grass will most likely help us to contain the animals, even though I had an idea to make a gate where the m mature animals will not be able to escape, but that doesn't mean that other ones won't. So um, if there's like a baby camel, it definitely, it's it's my stupidity. Um, anyways, I've got a topic actually, which I wanted to talk about in today's episode. And while I'm doing some, some more work here on the fence, let's quickly talk about um, Planet Zoo, how great it is. Like I wanted to do a video about Planet Zoo um, and, and how beautiful this game actually is. And I, you know, let me just quickly give you the reason why I wanted to do the video. So I think in the last couple weeks, I've been very vocal about issues and other people as well. And we've been criticizing the game quite a lot, especially in the, um, context of Kuali Zoo. However, I just sat down and thought about, you know, what Planet Zoo is, what, um, the game offers, what it was from the beginning, you know, and, and how it turned out by now. Now, I think it's unfair to judge the game only by our point of view, because we are just a fraction of people that play the game, and we are just a, f a, a very small fraction of people that play this game. So, what I thought is, I should actually look more onto the game from a perspective of a casual player. And what I want from you guys, because I, in preparation to make a video about the positivity and about the, the chances that this game offered, and also how overwhelming it can be at times, um, which is the exact opposite of what we sometimes say, um, I need to know who of you out there, and I, you know, I think it's in particular very good to talk about that in the context of franchise mode. So how many of you out there play this game in a more casual way? And if so, are you overwhelmed by all the capabilities of the game, the building mode and stuff like that? Would you love to have like a more simple um, building mode, for example? And what was your first experience with the game? Did you feel did you feel overwhelmed by the tools? Are you actually enjoying the tools? So I really want to know kind of what is your opinion on like on how the game is set up in terms of a proper casual game. If you want to jump in and play some management and whatever. I really want to know, because for me personally, this is, I can't really talk about that without, without your opinion. Simply because it's, 
you know, it's not my kind of thing. I, I just love the game for its insane, endless capabilities of building and stuff. So it makes no sense for me to talk about this as if I am a casual, because I'm not. I've got over 1,500 hours nearly in the game. I'm not a casual in this game, but I really want to talk about this in a video and actually also make sure that we focus on some of the points that you people might bring up then. So uh, yeah, let me know, please, in the comments. Um, how was your first time playing the game? Or have you ever, ever played the game? If not, why didn't you play it yet? What What is stopping you from playing the game? Um, or if you have played the game and you stopped playing, what, what, what made you stop playing the game? Um, and just in general, let me know what is your overall feeling towards Planet Zoo as a casual game, not as a sandbox game, because I think we talked about that well enough. Um, so I'm really, 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 really curious to... To hear your opinion on that because and the reason why to give you an idea why is that i figured there are a couple of things which this game might need to rethink for the next game but i want to justify if that's true or if it's just my stupid brain that kind of has this weird idea because like i can already give you somewhat of an idea what i want to talk about and that is mainly the accessibility of it especially blueprints and especially um making building easier and quicker for people that do not want to spend hours and hours like I do um, designing areas. So I really would love your opinion on how you enjoyed the game at the beginning and how you enjoy it at the moment. Um, so that is really something I, I'd love to hear your opinion on. Um, so yeah, uh, make sure to jump down in the comment section after the video, during the video, whenever, now, and tell me what's going on, how you like the game, what you do with the game, and so on and so forth. That would be absolutely brilliant. Now, guys, we talked a lot, and I have finally built the habitat, and I really hope that this works now. Mm, we should basically have a look into our zonings. Um, bub, 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 stuff, work zones. So we've got that work zone. This is the Meerkat uh, Artwalk Exhibit. Exhibits two and foxes edit this work zone. I think we can just, wait, I, okay, well, I put this in, exhibits two fo foxes, what is this weird thing, foxes and camels, there you go. I think that should be fine. Now we have the camels in. How many keepers? We've got one keeper in there. Okay, so that should be fine. One keeper should definitely be enough for this moment. And uh, let's have a little look if we do have camels in our list, actually, or if we do have to find new ones. Again, I've got no idea if I've got camels. I guess I don't. I, I rarely have camels in my zoo, so no, I don't. Look at that. This is reset the filters, camel, Bactrian camel. Um, well, it's still in there. Look at that. Reset all filters, refresh list, camel. That is so unfortunate, guys. Um, okay, so there's not really that many. I'm going to grab that one then. 16.9 years. That's rather old already, but okay. Um, yeah, okay. We, we just hope, okay, that this is going to do the best for us. Cash listings only. I think we just don't have cash listings, right? No. Okay, we gotta have to see that we get camels then later. Reset the filter. We've got those camels. We're just gonna hope that they make out rather quickly. And then, well, <laughs> we get some baby camels in order to grow our camel family. Okay, now we've put down the camels. And while we wait for them to be delivered into the habitat, um, <clears throat> I'm going to put down some more education benches, bins and stuff like that. So just make sure that everything is in place, you know. I'm just going to go crazy here with all these things. You can't have enough of those. As I said, this is hard mode. So I definitely have to make sure that things like this work. Oh, look at that. There's already the, the camels coming. So... I'm just going to first of all focus on this before we put the education down. So what is this? Different species award? Yeah, give me the money. Okay, let's have a first of all a look into... Oh my god, beautiful! As if I've played the game already. <laughs> what is that? Okay, let's have a look. Um, I'm going to first of all concentrate on the terrain. So... Um, wait, terrain. Somehow over here I can... Yeah, this is how I click this and then grass short. So we've got too much grass short. We've got too much grass long effectively. We've got way too less rock and way too less sand. So first of all, we're just going to make a lot of sand here. Fine sand is what we need. Sand, 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 sand. I'm going to make this all sand first of all. And then we mix in some other stuff. So this is, this is going to be sand. 
Okay, desert is sand, fine. Okay, now we can actually go in and do some detailing, okay? So this is basically where we can have some rocky here on the sides, you know. This is where it would be a bit rocky anyways, so that's fine. And just get some rock here down to the, to the riverbed as well. Look, that's fine. Make some more rock down here to the top. Look at that. Look at this. This is still too less rock. Okay, well... Then we need some more detailing here around the corners. Look, that's just fine. That's just all fine. I want to get like a little bit of an oasis kind of thing going on here in the middle. So this is where I'm just going to put a bit of grass. There you go. You know, because there's like water over here. This is connecting the two areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of some more grass. Don't worry. Don't you worry about this. I think this looks kind of neat to have like a little you know, area like this in the middle. I'm just going to put some coarse sand around here. Is there anywhere else that we have some grass? Maybe here on the sides? Yeah, there you go. Um, oh, also, wait, I can also get rid of the grass here. So we, we get some more grass and stuff. Oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Let's put all the soil down here. So that will bring us, a, gives us a bit more budget on uh, the grass side of things. So I'm just going to make this all soil, blah, blah, blah. This is actually where they would go anyways. Um... I also thought about, but I'm not sure if this makes a lot of sense, but I thought about having potentially, okay, let's say camel, because that will help us a lot. Um, blueprints off, please. Thank you. We don't really have that much enrichment for them, which is a pity. I was about to say that we are going to put like a lot of this stuff down here. I'm not sure if they will sleep then in this area, but I thought this would look nice as if this is really like... Ah, uh, you know, that makes no sense at all. <laughs> I thought rather quickly, you know, I'm going to put this down there because that might look good, but um, it doesn't. So, so enrichment is um, not really existing, which is a bit of an issue, but it's okay. Um, so while we wait, we can put down quite a bit of education now, uh, making sure that we have the education need for our guest filled in. So first of all, we got to have to put the foxy down here. Oops, resume the game. And we're going to put like another fox uh, education bot here, which is good. Um, and then we're going to just copy that over and we're going to have some uh, of these bots obviously in here, but this is going to be the Bactrian Camel. And we are just going to copy that thing over everywhere we can, um, which I think we might be able to overdo it <laughs> because it's just too much. Uh, but I don't care, you know. It's, we actually, we will also uh, switch the images later on. I'm going to take some screenshots and then we're going to switch the image every now and then uh, because that makes more sense, I guess. There's still energy over here? How is that even possible? Oh boy, that generator is some, is some very, very good thing. That's animal died? Which animal died? Oh my god, the, Berta. Berta is the first animal that died in our zoo. Oh no, Berta, what are you doing? <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so our friends, the camels, are in here. Um, we do not have this, but we... Can I click this and we have this set? Temperate... Okay, now this is what we can put down, right? And we're just going to put some cacti down. Oh, wait, this is because of the elephant grass. I, I freaking don't care, honestly. Wait, why is this not... Temperate desert. Oh, can I click Asia as well? Oh, thank you so much. I... Okay. <laughs> Oh God. So I'm going to put just some plants over here um, around this around this water. That's all I do, okay? Because that's the only area where we have some stuff growing. As I said, little oasis should be nice. Putting some things in, making sure that this looks almost like a little oasis in the middle of uh, the desert here. There could be like another one here, another one in the back, another one by the dust. Okay, sorry. Um... <laughs> Just a few couple of plants here and there. There's not much left in the budget for my plants. I want to have like this one palm tree as well because I like that a lot. Hopefully that's gonna. Yeah, that's fine. We still have some budget, which is great. Um, I, I call that budget because I, I kind of think this is a, a good wording for that. I want to have like another one here. Nice, still fine. Um, is there anything else I want to put down? Is there anything else? I like these bushes here a lot as well. Um, anything else I can't... Nah, I think it's all fine. I think this is all I want to have. Maybe this, this bush is going to be put down here. Okay, that was one too much. Then, whatever. <laughs> 
I'm gonna put some rocks down as well. How about your uh, space? Oh, there's plenty of space left. Okay, so I can actually have some some rocks in here. Why not? Um, I was just about to, you know, uh, check the the space and stuff. Oh, is this floating? This looks like a bit floaty there. Um, just making sure we have some rocks in there, just to make things look somewhat nicer. You know, just a couple of rocks here and there, and then. Yeah, just go with the flow, making the habitat. I think the habitat already looks rather cool. Um, so having some of the rocks going in here, making that water look nicer. Just keeping keeping some space because we want to have some more babies and stuff in here. So I'm not going to get rid of too much uh, space. I mean, we can always enlarge the habitat towards the back. That's not a big deal. But we want to be space efficient, you know. So uh, this is why I'm trying to avoid putting down too many rocks that... Uh, you know, reduce the navigatable area by too much because we know how needy the game is at times. So yeah, okay. So just putting some things down here. Like this is the perfect region also for some enrichment items. Do we have already some? Because I, how about the research? Okay, we can put like a f this enrichment item already down. Um, maybe two of them. At least something, you know. At least something. There's not more than this, but we can we can just see. Okay. Um, Space-wise, we are we're definitely fine. Mm, that's fine. Enrichment is missing. Okay, so there's also a couple of years left for them to make out. Hopefully, enrichment, food enrichment is missing out on this. So potentially, that's what it is. So they do they go in here or do they actually run away then? Okay, well they do run away. Um, I did not know that this is an issue, but okay. Um, is this actually making people? Hmm. I thought it was okay for them to go into habitats. If it's not, we got to solve that issue now. Mm, I know how to solve it though. Um, this was like with the track underneath, right? So let's quickly do this. I think it was with the track. Under do we have a track? Yeah, we have like a monorail. That should be that should be fine. That should be all good. So I'm going to put like the track down. It's already second part. No, okay, more. So then I want to have my mechanic um, go for transport rights because with a wider one, we can then finally solve that issue here. What is going on with you? What are you doing? Oh my God, I'm too hot. They're all too hot. Wait, is this, is this like a pattern? Are they all too hot? I'm too hot. Okay, we might then put some coolings down at some point. Um, or maybe some more shades. Is shade actually helping them to reduce the... I think there was like shades do actually reduce the heat, don't they? Absolutely. They absolutely do it, right? Look, there is some shade and over here next to the building, it is actually a little bit... Wait, I want to try this real quick, okay? I have never tried this before, but this is the last thing we do today to, to just test it. Um, so if I build... And now let's go back to let me go back to this, and we are going to go for a pillar. It doesn't matter. Pole. Um, what's that? What wooden post? Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna just try this. Do we have the shade already? No, we don't. Oh, we need to do something or take something. All the people leaving and running away is not really good for our zoo, is it? <laughs> I have no clue what we do, first of all. I mean, I do have a clue, though, but uh, not for the moment. Um, this is the banner I was going for. Okay. So let's just do it like this and this. And I'm just going to make it like so. This is just for the moment, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to try this if that is helping the people to stay a bit cooler. And now let's move this and put it maybe in the middle here. I'm gonna, if this works, I'm gonna leave it and, and keep it nice and so on, you know. But I just want to make sure if that is a thing. It works, that's brilliant. That's actually brilliant. So we can give them a lot more shade um, next to the viewing spots and stuff. That is really good. So that should also cool the people down without making too much that's pretty good though. So we have to work a lot with shades and stuff. I'm not sure if I'll, I'll leave them here, but you know, um, I definitely need that transport ride so that we can actually make that work better. I mean, I could put the same monorail thingy next to it. Can I actually move it into the ground? I mean, that would be, oops, that would be brilliant if I just, hey, can I just 
click the monorail, please. Thank you. I'm just gonna save this as a blueprint and I'm gonna say whatever. Whatever, let's call it whatever, okay? It's gonna be whatever, whatever. Okay, well, create that one. Split, oh, blah. So this is whatever. I wonder if I can put whatever down um, into the ground already. Wait, is this? This is now over the path and this is now in the ground. But um, this is where the other monorail is, right? So can I just push this over here? Look, it works. Awesome. It's still in the ground, isn't it? Oh yeah, that, that works. So I can just push it next to it. I need to check that this is below the pathway as best as I can. Mm. Oh, we can even submerge that into the other one. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna try my best to put one down here. And I'm gonna do the exact same again and put it to the other side. And then we should finally have solved the issue here. So wait, uh, this, is, this is quite okay this way. And now let's move this down into the ground again. For whatever reason that doesn't work. Let's move it forth and back. Oh, there you go. This is where, where it works again. Okay, let's push that over here again. So let's see if this is... Okay, I want to put that further over here. We can't really get too close to this side, which is where they keep running away, right? Uh... Making a bridge would actually be nicer, I guess. <laughs> oh gosh. I can't really do anything like, oh wait, this is working. Okay, I really hope that this is now solving the issue for the most part. No, they still run away like madmans. Okay, um, and then again, we need to somehow make a bridge for the camel's work. I think this is something we should quickly do because I really don't want them to be, you know, escaping all the time. Um, let me just do the following. We are going to go and look for a wooden plank or something. So wood should be the thing. And this is also the last thing we do. Is there anything else we have filtered? No. Okay. So we're going to go and take like a wooden... Oh, we only have this one. Can we do it with... Uh, I'm going to do it with this one. Okay. So this is going to be the bridge. I have no idea what angle they can go. So I'm just going to try my best in doing somewhat of a subtle but still defined angle, you know. Look, this is funny though, it works if we have the right below. We can just do this for the moment being with the bridge and as soon as we have uh, we have more, um, meaning we have the uh, right that we need, I think they can traverse some quite heavy angles, even though I'm just trying to do this as best as I can, like so. Mm, okay, wait a second. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with this one then. Oops. Why is it not doing its job? I really hope they can go that steep. I have a feeling they can't. Maybe I should first test it. Maybe I should first test this. Um, I'm gonna test this first. So can you traverse on here? Let me just see. Traversable area. Boom, they can. Um, hopefully they can when I just tuck this a little bit further down, so they might also be able to get all the way up. Um, the people down here, it doesn't really matter, right? So we can we can be as, as flat as we want. It doesn't really matter at all. I just want to make sure that they don't escape, you know? That's all I want. This is all I want. So. Okay, well this is the bridge then, and we're going to just do the same on the other side. Bring it over. <laughs> so there you go. And now I'm just going to position the bridge. Hey, what's that? Ah. So I'm just going to position the bridge to the side here. So hopefully that they're gonna it's gonna work. Love it. I love it. Okay, so there is one fence. Yeah, there you go. This is the fence that goes here now. And the other one goes down here. So now people should not be escaping anymore, despite the tracks below the ground, and they should still be able to get into their 
habitat. Let me just click both. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Do we have more enrichment items to, f to finally end this off? Um, blah, 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 habitat. Are you kidding me? So we, we what, what, did the, what did the research do all the time then? Because we still don't have the enrichment items, do we? Oh, are you kidding me, right? Look, we have researched so much already that we should definitely have more enrichment items. I'm going to claim these rewards. I'm going to go back to Habitat. There you go. Look at this. Look at these guys. We're going to put down all the enrichment items. Wait, do they count actually as a tree? I wonder though if they do count as a tree for the camel, but um, whatever, I guess. Rubbing pillar can go here. Oh, nice. Look at this. We've got all the stuff. They should be very happy now. They should be very... Oh, look at that. We get offspring. How cool is this? It doesn't count to the plant coverage, which is great. Which is really, really great. So enrichment 100%. Noise. We can call it a day, guys. This is this is the camel habitat. Look at this. The Bactrian camel habitat is finally done. And we have camels finally in our zoo. I can't believe it, guys. It has happened. We have a camel. Oh my god. Have you seen that? Rudy just jumped out of utter, this is not me by the way, but we jumped out of utter joy. This is broken leg, but that's okay. <laughs> and I like the shelter we have over here. So this is kind of where we wanted to go. I think it's a really good habitat in terms of the tiny zoo. I really think it does do the job pretty, pretty dang well, even though we have this weird bridge in here, but that should not be too much of an issue. Anyhow, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did enjoy, as always, let me know. And also, don't forget to comment um, down below about how you play the game, if you're casual, what is actually the reason why you stop playing the game, if you stop playing the game, or what is too overwhelming for you. So all these kind of things I really want to know. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. I really hope you guys have a blast this weekend. Talk to you next time, and goodbye.